just finished up our January Impact Worship event, the first one of this new year, and what a great night. We typically don't do Impact Worship in January just because it's so close to the to the Christmas break and everything, mm -hmm. but we added you in this year, and this was the first time you got to be here for an Impact Worship. The first time you were scheduled was during the, uh, the, the <laughs> rainstorm yeah. the, the, uh, October a year ago, but oh, tonight yeah. we were so honored to have you back, yeah. uh, and particularly with the topic um, that you brought tonight, and and I'll talk just real quick, just a minute about the, the the prayer room, but but share a little bit with everybody about your message and and what God has put on your heart for sharing with the students tonight. Well, you know, uh, a year ago when it got rained out, I, I knew that God was going to do something huge yeah. because the enemy could not have worked um, any harder during those circumstances uh, to just keep that whole service shut down. And then when it uh, got ready to snow huge in Charlotte, <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Now I'm going to have to cancel to come here because of the yeah. snow. But, you know, God uh, made a way for us to be here. And I saw tonight, it was really cool because... Um, I, I started to see if we will continue to walk in faithfulness, believing that God has a plan, and battle the enemy tooth and nail. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll do a supernatural work. The altar was full, you know, and, yeah. and God just showed up. Uh, the worship team was amazing tonight. They, I just was backstage worshiping with my hands up, just listening to them sing. And uh, yeah. to come out and see a crowd like that, to be packed. Uh, on a night where it's like what 20 degrees or 25 degrees, <laughs> Especially from Myrtle Beach, yeah, from Myrtle Beach. Uh, it's just really awesome what God did. So I was honored to be a part of it, and I love teaching the word. So the the prodigal son story means a lot to me because you know I drug overdosed here at Myrtle Beach when I was a teenager. Mm. Uh, so I was the prodigal son. Actually, my father came here and and found me living on the street after my drug overdose, wow. and I went home to my father. So that story means a lot to me. And there came a time in my life where I had to rise up and make a decision uh, to receive this revelation knowledge, go intimate uh, with God, know that I was special, which is what really uh, has me in the place that I'm at today. I'm not going to give up because I realize how special I am in His eyes. Wow. And it just gives me one experience after the other. And tonight was just another amazing experience that's kind of what we talked about with rise revelation knowledge uh, will lead to intimacy and intimacy leads you to understand how special you are in the eyes of God and it really provokes all these lifelong experiences uh, and it just comes from Luke 15 the the, the prodigal son story mm. and so I loved sharing that because it had a lot to do with me at this place when I was a teenager here wow. in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Uh, uh, we had, um, I think we had 57 students come back with the, making a decision for Christ tonight. Yeah. The room was just packed with people. Yeah. And so we were having to kind of logistically move some things around, but it was, Amen. we were handing out Bibles at the door instead of at the tables. But what, what a great yeah. night it was. We had a lot of people sign up for student membership uh, and some that would sign up for leadership to be a part of Ground Zero Leadership stuff. Oh, so it was, that's awesome. it was, it was uh, from youth workers to students in different ways for students to be involved in addition to the message and the response to the message that you had was just a great night. So thank well, you for being here. Well, you know, for me, uh, I'm a pastor now in Charlotte. So, you know, my life is different than when it was five years ago when I was a traveling speaker. But I struggled so much uh, preaching the gospel and seeing people come down knowing that discipleship would probably not take place. Mm -hmm. But tonight, as I was standing there, Watching these people come, I mean, honestly, the first thing, and it's, and it's, and it's uh, you know, in honor of what you guys have accomplished, so I'm not trying to stroke your ego or anything, but I remember thinking to myself, man, I know these kids are going to get discipled here. I know there's going to be follow-up. I know there's going to be phone calls. I know there's going to yeah. be emails sent. I know there's going to be a chance to go deeper, which really, that's what makes the evangelical call all up. It makes it uh, worthwhile when you know that there's going to be a discipleship process so people can live it out. So yeah. thank you for what you do, because well, as someone who's an evangelist and a pastor, that follow up is key. Yeah. It's important. So to know it happens uh, is really awesome. So I'm excited about the whole night. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank all of you guys for uh, just con your continued financial support, your prayer support. And our theme this year is is join the journey. And so for those of you that may be watching this video, we just want to extend an invitation to you to join the journey, to be a part of this ministry, whether financially or by becoming a volunteer, whether you're a student or whether you're an adult. So if you want more information about that, please uh, get in touch with us. You can do that by calling us or going to the website and getting in touch with us that way. We look forward to seeing what God's going to do this year through the ministry that he's given us the opportunity to do.